A History of the African Omics, Black Civilizations of America from Prehistoric Times. The Truth About the Ownership, Settlement, and Ancient Civilizations of Black African Americans in the Americas Before Columbus. Ancient Black African Civilizations of Asia and the Long Legacy of Maritime Activities. The first people in India, China, Southeast Asia, Australia, Melanesia, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Japan, and Indonesia were black Negro people of the African origins. In fact, blacks continue to exist in most of these places in large numbers, even though the media in some of these nations don't show the blacks living among them or who were chased to remote regions. The following nations still have large black Africoid populations. India. About 600 million people are of the Indo-Negroid people. About 300 million are black tribal and about 300 million are black Dalits, untouchables, who are the direct descendants of the original black race of India and South Asia. India also has Negro people who were found to have the purest genes in Asia at an amount of 100% of a prehistoric African gene. The Negro of the Andaman Islands have been in the India for over 60,000 years. India's black untouchables or Dalits have been among the most oppressed people on earth for over 3,000 years, say some writers. The tribals of India are also composed of a very large number of blacks of the Negro Australoid type, whose relatives still live in parts of Africa today and are related to the Anu ethnic groups such as the black Negro Anak, Anu, Tibu, and others. The Australian Aborigines are also related to the Anu group, who once lived in the Sahara, North Africa, and were also found all over Asia, the Americas, Europe, Australia, China, Southeast Asia, Japan, in ancient times. Melanesia, Indonesia, Philippines still have a large number of black people of the African Negro type and the Negro Australoid type, both being of African origins. Australian Aboriginals and Southeast Asian Ostrichs are both related to African Negro people and were among the first people from Africa to migrate to the East. The Oceanic Negro, Papuan Melanesian, the Tasmanian and Southeast Asian as well as South Indian Negroes as well as the Kong Bushmen were the first people to migrate out of Africa after they developed a strong prehistoric culture in Africa over 100,000 years ago. So over a period of a thousand years, the original people in Asia were black African people. They were established in India for thousands of years before the Indo-Europeans arrived. Actually, anthropologists say they were Caucasians from the Altaic who mixed with India's original black Negro Australian race, hence the term Indo-European. The challenges today is the task of rebuilding and expanding the Pan-African black race, including the black Asiatic race of Asia from South India to Samoa and Melanesia. Due to problems that face blacks globally, while other groups are having a parasitic relationship with blacks where they use blacks to enrich and make themselves stronger, the time has come to help improve the lives of blacks globally and including Asia. Blacks in Asia from South India to Southeast Asia to New Chalcedonia are victims of a parasitic relationship with the other races who use, exploit, and contribute to black destruction as they have done for centuries. The attacks and destruction of black civilizations of India and the Black Chang of China, as well as current attacks on blacks in West Papua and the attempt to exploit Africa's resources while contributing to strife and genocide in Africa 
to clear lands of Africans is another of the racist policies that have been used in Asia itself. Unity among blacks in Africa, Asia, the Americas, Europe, and elsewhere is vital and crucial. It begins with knowing who the Pan-African world is and the history of the Pan-African, Pan-Negro people in Africa, the Americas, Europe, and Asia. The rebuilding and numerical expansion of the original Negroid race of Asia, Africa, Melanesia, Pacific, India, and the Americas means that the black race from South India to Melanesia must establish population expansion programs to increase their populations. It means making tricks like abortion illegal. It means uniting to create strong economics and strong means of defense to stop enemies from whatever source. Survival of Pan-Africans mean population increase in the face of many attacks and obstacles like malaria, AIDS, economic depression, exploitation by parasite nations, unfair trade, and other problems including racist trickery used to cut down on the population growth of Pan-Africans, Pan-Negroes. The global black communities must organize to take measures to help development as well as to ensure the future of the original race. History clearly shows that Africans, blacks globally must be careful when dealing with any group of people and should know their history as a race so the mistakes of the past are not repeated even when dealing with other groups of people. There is no doubt that Africa's solution to solving its problems is creating larger, stronger, and better nations. It is also unifying blacks in Asia into regional superpowers like the Melanesian Union, who have strong relations with Pan-African nations as in the ACP group, African Caribbean Pacific group, and good relations and alliances with the global community. This union of states idea of making small states into larger ones will help make small African, Pacific, and Caribbean nations stronger and larger while helping these nations survive and thrive in a changing world where large emerging nations cannot be trusted and cannot be dependent upon.